What's up guys, it's MythOfficial here and today we're going to be showing you how to install shaders. Alright guys, to begin installing shaders, you're going to open up your browser and you're going to go to the three links that are in the description. You're going to download my shader packs, the best shaders for Minecraft, and you're also going to have the download iris link. We're going to start off by downloading the iris shaders because all you guys have to do for the download of my shaders is go through the link for ties, which is so you guys can support me. Click download universal jar and once you've done that, you can download the mods that are required to run this at all optimal performance and once you have downloaded my fabric pack for shaders in the most optimal performance while running shaders you can then close out of your browser and go to your file explorer once you are here you're going to double click the iris installer make sure you have it on 1.21 but if you are using different mods you can have it for any other version but if you're using my pack, make sure you have 1.21 and Iris plus Fabric and just click install. It will automatically go to your Minecraft directory and create a new profile. Once you've done that, you can delete the Iris installer from your file explorer. Then you're going to right click my Fabric pack, extract it, and then delete the original RAR file. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure to like and subscribe. But once you guys are in your Minecraft launcher, you're going to click the folder you guys can see that my Distant Horizons beta has installed. So you guys can go here and find your mods folder. Then you're gonna wanna drag in all of these mods that you extracted from my pack into your mods folder. And once you have done that, I will also now show you how to install external shaders. If you guys wanna use a different shader than to what's in my recommended pack, then just go to Modrinth and go to the shader section and find whatever you like. I'll show you guys how to install, we'll go with Shrimple, why not? Very interesting name. Just make sure it is for Iris, and then you're just going to click your Open Shader Packs folder when you're in Minecraft, go to your Downloads tab, and all you have to do is drag and drop the zip file. You don't even have to extract it, it's that simple. So yeah guys, when you are in Minecraft, if we go to our mods here, you guys can see we have all of the mods installed for the best shader performance. C2ME really does help with shader performance. So yeah guys, you're just gonna go to your shader packs, click open shader pack folder. We'll go black for a couple of seconds, but it's okay. And once that has happened, you can extract my shader packs, delete the RAR file, And once you've done that, you can drag all of the zip files. And if there's any replacements, just click replace, update it to the latest version, and then you can close out of all of this after you delete the excess files. Now here we are in Minecraft, you can see all the shaders have been installed successfully. Now let's hop into a single player world, and I will show you guys how the shaders perform, how to enable shaders, and the best shader settings for different shaders. So here we are guys, I'm in a world, and I'm just gonna go, you go to your video settings and you can click whatever shader you want. I'm just gonna apply Rethinking Voxels because that is my current favorite shader. I'll also show you my favorite settings for a bunch of different shaders. So yeah, this one has voxel lighting, which basically means it renders the lighting in a different engine, essentially, than how typical shaders do it. And the lighting looks super advanced, the fog looks absolutely amazing, the clouds, look pretty good as well you know it looks super cool so I will also show you guys the settings for this go to your options video settings shader packs click shader pack settings I recommend playing with the cloud style on unbound that is my personal preference it looks so much better to me but just change your entire visual style to unbound it looks very similar to reimagined but it just looks so much more you know like realistic to me so this is the best shader settings in my opinion for rethinking voxels but i will also show you guys a couple other shaders and at different times let's set the time to 100 look at that sunset dude that looks absolutely amazing and you guys can see my performance is fine we're running close to 100 frames on a very high setting shader let's try Sue's ptgi which is a ray tracing shader might need an RTX card for this. I'm not sure, honestly, but you might need one. So yeah, this is what that looks like. The shadows in this look absolutely amazing, though. I do think the views look a bit off. I mean, it looks more vanilla than the other one. This one is 
also much more graphically intensive and it will cause your graphics card and PC to heat up a lot. So yeah, let's try out a different one here. Let's try out Kappa Shaders. I've actually never tried this one, not gonna lie. I thought it looked good from the photo, so I threw it in the pack. Whoa, okay, that sunset looks good. Ooh, I like that motion blur. Everything kind of looks, it has the PTGI, uh, or not PTGI, the uh, PBR with the 3D block, so it looks really cool. So yeah, guys, you can see that. It looks really amazing. So let's try out Complimentary Unbound, which is basically rethinking voxels, but we think Voxels does have voxel lighting, although Complementary Unbound is what it is built upon. So let's see right now. It's going to take a minute to load because it is a very intensive shader. And yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. This is one of my favorite visual styles, but I definitely like rethinking Voxels the best. Sorry, chicken. Um, let's go ahead and try out our last shader we have here, Complementary Reimagined. Gonna take another second to load because all these shaders are very graphically intensive, so obviously it's gonna take a little bit to load them up. Here we are, you guys can see we're back to that other visual style with the clouds being more 3D. Looks pretty cool, but honestly, it's not my favorite. My favorite is definitely Unbound. Now that we have installed, you know, I installed the external shader with Shrimple. So let me show you guys what Shrimple looks like because I've also never played with this. I just installed it for you guys for the video. Ooh, I kind of like that actually. It looks very, it looks very vanilla, but it also includes PBR. The water looks great. That's pretty cool. The underwater, eh, the underwater is not the best, but this shader still looks really cool to me. I personally like complimentary unbound rethinking voxels with the unbound style set so i just go to rethinking voxels which is my favorite shader you guys can find your favorite shader you guys can test around with your own setting oh and i want to show you guys what it looks like when it rains because the rainy weather looks absolutely amazing on seuss ptgi with the raindrops because i don't think any other shader currently has that not even rethinking voxels and you guys can see the clouds the formation of the clouds coming together that looks absolutely amazing as it starts to rain so yeah it takes a minute for this one to start raining but there we are we have rainy puddles and raindrops in the puddles which look absolutely amazing because i don't think any other shader has that i will check that in a minute and there's even raindrops on the water which just looks so good i mean if it had slightly better lighting effects this would probably be my favorite shader let's try rethinking voxels at this weather Ooh, the clouds look nice in that but yeah again you do not have the rain puddle effects nor on the water water do you have it but yeah guys i think that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it informed you if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm going to have more tutorials for all sorts of different stuff coming up on my channel. So make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.